Hi, my name is Evan Flack and I'm with AICHE in the Society for Biological Engineering and here today we have Christy Anseth and Chris Bowman, the winner of this year's James E. Bailey Award and Pro Professional Progress Award. So welcome guys, thanks for taking a couple minutes of your time. Um, so my first question is just kind of to both of you, what, what this award means to you, what work um, has led you to, to winning these awards? Well, I, uh, I guess being a recipient of the Bailey Award um, means quite a bit to me. It's, there's a long series of uh, highly recognized and leading in individuals, and I think it's great that biological engineering is embraced by our profession, and uh, it's very nice to be included with that group. Yeah, and I'd echo the same sentiments for the professional progress. There's a very long, distinguished uh, list of individuals who have won this, and then gone on to be incredibly successful. It's a it's an award that's kind of a, a transition from being a, a younger faculty member to being a more senior faculty member and it's a, you know, it's quite an honor and it's really recognizing the work that all the students and postdocs that, that I've been fortunate enough to, to be affiliated with and so it's it's an honor for them too and, and that makes it is also very nice. So you guys are married um, both at the University of Colorado um, what is it like to collaborate with each other, work in the same place, uh, and then go home together? <laughs> kind of both, both aspects. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's actually great. I mean, we're, we're best friends and collaborators, and uh, it's just a wonderful experience to be able to go into work together and to um, kind of share things at, at that level and to also understand each other's jobs and the commitments that each other have. And we're biggest fans of each other, and. Uh, Scientifically, it's nice in that what, what I do involves a lot of work with using biomaterial systems to try to control cells for regenerating tissues or culturing stem cells. And Chris's group has a lot of expertise in uh, polymer chemistry and materials engineering, um, and he works on a diverse array of applications. So that niche where we overlap, it's, it's really great. Um, so what would you guys kind of suggest uh, to younger people who, who see these award winners look at you guys as leaders in the field to to do as they start their careers and want to reach the levels that you guys have reached? Yeah, I mean, I, I think especially in today's culture and climate, persistence is probably one of the biggest keys and that you, you can't get too discouraged by failures and you can't get too excited by success. You have to just kind of keep your nose to the grindstone and, and try to identify the right problems and, and be kind of um, believing in yourself that you have identified the right problems and then being persistent and trying to figure out how to convince others that you've identified the right problems and, and then pursuing them to, to that end. I would echo those sentiments and I think maybe not being afraid to take risks early in your career, um, believing in your ideas, uh, not being afraid to build out new collaborations and, and embrace new areas and kind of work at that interface. Okay, great. Um, and can you just tell us each? Uh, can you tell us what each of your uh, award lecture talks will be about, briefly? So, so I'll be talking about uh, implementing click chemistry and trying to use that as a means for controlling the the precise structure of polymers. And so, in synthetic polymers, we have this long history of not being able to control precisely the structure of materials. And so, using these uh, very specific, really highly refined, robust reactions. We're trying to, to do that, to be able to control the structure more precisely and enable applications in biomaterials, um, electronic materials, and other applications. And I'm going to hopefully build on a story of where we began about 15 years ago, trying to design different types of hydrogel materials to regenerate and grow tissue structures like cartilage, and how we learned a lot in that process and began to change and evolve it as we had to work with different types of cells, more sophisticated tissues, uh, and where we think the field might be going in the next five years or so. Okay, great. Well, thank you for taking the time again. Uh, congratulations on your awards, and I look forward to hearing both of your talks. Thank you very much. Thanks.